Hey friends, today we are going to be doing some Disney prop and theme park memorabilia shopping here at my favorite place, the Lakeland Antique Mall. I hear tell that they have original Winnie the Pooh artwork and also pieces of my favorite Disney attraction. Anywho's, let's go do this. You guys know I love going around trying to find like hidden treasures either at flea markets, thrift stores, antique malls, or even auctions. And I like to put videos together probably like once a month. And this is one of my favorite places to go to. I have a couple of them that I always make videos at. And uh, everything you're going to see is actually for sale. So if you want to purchase anything, I'll put all the information in the description below. And you can just reach out to the antique mall and if you have any questions. Doing these videos are always so much fun for me. And like I said, I usually go around once a month and I hit up all my favorite spots, but I'm in the market to find some new ones. So if you guys have any good recommendations where you can find really awesome Disney vintage like memorabilia, then let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to check them out. Mainly in the Orlando, uh, like Walt Disney World area. But I do have a couple of my favorites and I'll be visiting some of those throughout this whole entire month. There are so many new items and I can't wait to show you guys as many as I can. And if there's something I show and I don't say the price, you can always call the Lakeland Antique Mall and they'll be able to give you the price on anything and any other information if you want to purchase it. But take a look at that Disneyland Hotel banner. That is gigantic and beautiful. Now I don't know what the price is for that because I can't see it here, but wow, I love it. The monorail, the castle, Mickey, huh, that is simply amazing. That Disneyland banner is absolutely amazing. It is 15 feet though. I would never even be able to fit that on my house. I think they used to hang it off the Disneyland hotel or they actually used it just for advertisement, but I love it. And uh, some of these items, like I said, are super rare and uh, most of them do come with like a certificate of authenticity. Like I'm gonna show you a bunch of rare Winnie the Pooh artwork that actually has Walt Disney certificate of authenticity on it. So it's really, really interesting. Right here is a whole entire corner dedicated to Winnie the Pooh. There's a lot of Winnie the Pooh fans out there and this is some of the rarest artwork or artifacts from Winnie the Pooh that you'll ever be able to find and it's for sale right here. Like I had no idea that Mary Blair, the artist who actually did uh, It's a Small World, actually had Winnie the Pooh artwork. Like Mary Blair drew all of these Winnie the Pooh artwork. Look at Eeyore right here. Now this is different concepts because this is before Walt actually owned the rights to Winnie the Pooh. So she was actually drawing up concert, like concept art for Walt Disney. And look at that. These are the original ones though. And they literally come with a certificate of authenticity. $22,000. This one right here is $23,000. And then over here is the original Ernest Shepherd Winnie the Pooh. This is $26,000. But that's an original. And that is absolutely mind blowing. Look at that. Signed and everything. And I had no idea. I think it's so magical. Of course, Walt Disney ended up purchasing the Winnie the Pooh rights, so he was able to make a Winnie the Pooh movie, and some of their original movie art is actually here, and Walt Disney sold that to actually start funding his Walt Disney World Park here in Orlando, Florida, and I think that is really interesting. Right here is an original piece of art from the Winnie the Pooh movie that Walt Disney made, and you can see on the back, it actually has a little stamp that lets you know that this is a Walt Disney production and this is your certificate of authenticity right there. And that is so amazing, isn't it? And I like how they have it framed like this so you can see it on the back. And most of all of them actually already have that like on there. You can see it actually blown up here and they have Tigger, they have background art. So this is from the movie itself. The whole entire background scene, this is uh, $7,500. And then these are the different concept arts. So as animation actually uh, changes through time, you can see how things are switching around. You see the clock right here, and now the finished product right here. That is so amazing. These are about $9,000 a piece. And here is all the certificates too. So this is really, really cool and special. I always seem to learn things actually whenever I'm going around and looking for Disney props. And one thing I had no idea about is the fact that Winnie the Pooh actually ran for president in the 1970s. He was a write-in candidate. And Disneyland actually endorsed it. Disneyland actually had a Pooh for president like parade in the 1970s. And they actually have some of the merchandise from the 1970s when Winnie the Pooh actually ran for the presidency of the United States. And he actually got some votes. Like he was a write-in. I guess somebody was just like, I'm going to write in Pooh for president. And they actually have some of that stuff, and I think it's really magical. 
right here is a little literature about it. I like that they printed out and you see all the characters actually on the train and they have signs that say poo for president and they actually had all these things for sale at the park. This is actually at Sears too. It's a Winnie the Pooh for presidency. And look at that. And then of course, an original Pooh for president hat. This was from Disneyland. Isn't that amazing? And it's super rare because something like that really doesn't last long, especially from the 1970s. And it's just like a little bit of history right there. And I had no idea. Like, what if Winnie the Pooh won? I mean, <laughs> I mean, obviously that wouldn't happen, but that is still kind of amazing. They even have some of the Pooh for President buttons here. And I think that is so awesome because you know they used to give out buttons. Oh, they still give out buttons in Disneyland. But look at that. You can actually show your support for Winnie the Pooh. Let's put it right here. Pooh for President. One of my favorite scenes from the Winnie the Pooh movie is probably the Heffalumps and Woozles. And take a look at this. They have some of the original artwork for the Heffalumps and Woozles. And I love it. Like, it's so cool. This is the real stuff. It comes with the certificate of authenticity. It's $850. Look at the woozle down here. That's $800. These are so amazing. And then they have a lot of other vintage like Winnie the Pooh toys. They have a 100 acre wood play set right here. And oh, you can actually own a Tigger costume from Disneyland. Like, isn't that mind blowing? These are just uh, Tigger's uh, feet, but that is so cool. $695. And you can own Tigger's paws here. And these were actually used in the park in Disneyland. Oh, they have Winnie the Pooh over here too. These are so amazing. There's a lot of really awesome things. And there's the other Tigger foot. It is so amazing the fact that like when Walt Disney decided he wanted to start working on Walt Disney World and he wanted to put like funds to his side, he didn't want to bring in a bunch of partners like he did with Disneyland. So that's when he started selling off all the artwork from the art corner. And most of those pieces uh, he was selling for like five, ten dollars. And can you imagine buying them back then? And you've seen some of them, they're like twenty-two thousand dollars now. That is mind blowing, you know what I mean? But he was like just using that as startup to actually be able to bankroll Walt. Walt Disney World eventually and I think that is just such a cool interesting story now we're gonna move along to a lot of really awesome amazing pieces over here I notice up on the top shelf here we have a lot of Walt Disney Imagineering hard hats that they have for sale they have a Disneyland construction hat for $6.95 they have a red Mickey firefighter hard hat for $345 they have a Buena Vista Construction Company vest for $295, a Disneyland 60th Anniversary Construction hat for $695, and then a 1970s Disneyland rain suit. Look at that rain suit. That's $395, that is really awesome. And then they also have some of these store figures from the Disneyland store that are really interesting. Dumbo, Minnie, Pinocchio, Donald, Mickey, these are so cool and they actually come with a certificate of authenticity on some of them like this that was bought at the uh, Disneyana auction. And these are really interesting. I can't see the prices too well. Looks like Mickey is about $1,200, but that is so cool. And also look at this Mickey Mouse over here. Look at that old Mickey Mouse costume head. $595 for that one. But that's really awesome, isn't it? I opened up the cases a little bit so I can show you guys some of the good stuff. Usually they have these locked up because there's a lot of valuable like loose items in here. And you can see there's a lot of different Splash Mountain items. And these are really cool and they're gonna be very popular because you know Splash Mountain is going away. Look at this pin back here, it's $95. And the old uh, figurines here, Bear Bear for $245. I like that. And then down here we have a lot of vintage names, name tags from Disney, Kathy, Gemma, Andy, Tom, Jay, Ray, Christy, Kent. Oh, Kent, look at that. I like it, Ryan, Caesar, Kelly. These are really awesome. Oh, what's this? Oh, pass holder exclusive from Hollywood Studios. A vintage Mickey Army pen. That's kind of really cool. Yeah, like a lot of really awesome loose things down here. I like it. Here's a couple pieces of really awesome, amazing banners and wall art. I like that they have this Mickey Mouse Club over here. I think this is $178 for this one. Uh, Welcome to Toy Town. That's $995, but that is really awesome. Oh, this old Mickey right here. It looks like a key holder, like a wall hanger right there. That is $325. Some of this stuff is locked up over on this side. But if you take a peek in here, 
you can see a Walt Disney Studios Mickey Mouse and Silly Symphony sound cartoon sign and this lights up because you can see the lights there that is really cool also that guy just scared me a little bit here are a couple backstage signs the basics I go above and beyond that is so awesome I can make a difference for a guest this is $195 that is really awesome and then what else we got here happy holiday sign pirates of the caribbean experience it's a uh experience to uh ride pirates of the caribbean with alice davis as she takes you on the unforgettable journey through the pirates of the caribbean attraction estimated value four thousand dollars sixty five dollars <laughs> disneyland grad night some more grad night oh, fantasia Oh, another safety one. Jeepers Creepers, protect those peepers. I love this. Another really cool thing I like to keep my eye out for is cast costuming. And they usually have some amazing pieces down here. They had a full Tower of Terror bellhop uh, costume here for sale. And I think it already sold. And they have a couple of other really cool jackets that I want to point out. Maybe even try on. Right here is a Disneyland cast member jacket. Look at this. Disneyland Resort and actually has the label back here. That's so cool. $325 for that one. Over here they have a Jurassic Park one from Universal Studios. <laughs> that is really, really interesting. And then, oh, back there is the uh, Walt Disney World security jacket. That one's cool. I've seen that before there. And uh, over here they have a Disneyland happy uh, 50th anniversary one. This one is really, really awesome. $325. Ooh, and they got a couple more over here. They have a Magic Kingdom one right there. Another Disneyland jacket. And then, of course, the Cinderella dress. This has been here for a while, but it is super, like, <laughs> like fancy. Like, that is amazing. This one right here is $325 for this one. I also always come across some things that are just so strange and unique, but I love them. Like uh, All Star Resort trash can for $395. And then also a Animal Kingdom beverage merchandise cart. So this is where they would put all the bottles of water or soda. Like that is so unique, you know what I mean? $395 for that. It's pretty big though. And then a tons of different resort like furniture chairs. I think these are from Fort Wilderness, these chairs over here. Let's see. Wilderness Lodge, but they're so nice. This is also from Wilderness Lodge too. I love all the, the woodwork, so fancy. Do you guys remember the like whimsical World of Disney store at Disney Springs and like Once Upon a Toy? They used to be like very like, I don't know, like magical I would say, because it was really awesome. Now they kind of made it a little bit modern, uh, but they do have some awesome pieces from that store here that I really do love because I like crane machines and this is kind of perfect. It's like the claws from Toy Story, but hidden Mickeys. You can see the claws actually hanging from the rafters carrying Mickey, Minnie, and there's another one over there too. And they're hidden Mickey claws and they were from Once Upon a Toy in Disney Springs. And these are so cool. These are $495, but isn't it so awesome? Like, I love it. It's really cool. The claw. <laughs> Here's a really awesome bench from the Polynesian Princess Suite. This is really cool. I've never been in the Princess Suites at the Polynesian, but you can see a picture right there. This is $325. And here's a little look of the past, a phone book from Lake Buena Vista. <laughs> that is really, really awesome. They don't even make phone books anymore, but it's so awesome. I wonder if it smells like a phone book still. Yeah, it still smells like a phone book. <laughs> that is so cool to keep this. Oh, 1989 this was, 1989. And this was like the Walt Disney World phone book area. That is so mind blowing. Other than like vintage things and props and stuff like that, I do like the stuff that they actually pull out of like the resorts at Disney World because I think the resorts are just as magical. And anything with a hidden Mickey, I kind of get excited about. And there's usually a lot that you can find. In fact, my whole entire house has a lot of like Walt Disney World resort items. And I kind of think they're just fun. And it's something, yeah, I'd like to add to my collection. You know what I mean? 
These lamps right here are so awesome. They're from the Yacht Club. And I love pointing these out because they're so pretty. And there are little Mickeys on them. And then also, I think this is a music box right here. A Sorcerer Mickey music box for $85. I'm going to try to see if I could turn it here because... I oh, wow, it is. That is amazing. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> like these Hidden Mickey Yacht Club mirrors. These are $165 and there's a lot of them. You can see the Hidden Mickeys going right down. And then they have the Animal Kingdom mirrors here. Uh, another, oh, a Polynesian Resort mirror right there. And I think these are Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. So like they're real awesome. Oh, also look at this Walt Disney giant ABC book. This is something that's really awesome. $75. And it is giant though. Oh, look at Cinderella Castle in there. G is for goat. <laughs> this is so fun actually. I really like this a lot. Oh yeah, little Winnie the Pooh section there. This is really awesome. Bambi, Goofy for Saw. <laughs> Here's a nice collection of Walt Disney records too. Robin Hood right here, $50. Oh, yeah, some more Winnie the Pooh, The Fox and the Hound. This actually comes with a cassette tape, $25. Peter and the Wolf. Oh, this one's super old. That's so funny. From Walt Disney's Make Mine Music, $35 for that one. The King Who Couldn't Dance. Oh, that is really awesome. I love finding things like this and just being able to touch them and look at them. Let's see what else we got here. Mother Goose Rhymes. That's about it. But these are really awesome, and they're from $50 to $85. Some of them are $25. I do like it, though. <laughs> I always try to show, like, a big variety of different things, you know what I mean? Not just, like, the high-priced prop items. I like to show, like, old figurines, old literature, pictures, posters, stuff like that. I kind of like it all. But let me know, like, what's your favorite thing? Like, I love wall art. I really do. Like, my walls are covered, and I have no space for anything else. And... I kind of just love it now i have things that i have like kind of framed that are just sitting there waiting for like you know available spot but i love it i i don't like empty wall space i know that some people don't like that but let me know what you guys like do you like the props do you like the vintage stuff do you like the old records you know what i mean it's fun to hear your feedback right here is a really cool piece this is a smock from the 25th anniversary from the band that would be going down main street usa and i think that is really awesome and it's right next to the gigantic piece of the cake castle cinderella castle i still can't get over this right here and there's actually going to be a couple more pieces eventually coming down here i think and it's still just kind of amazing to touch it you know i really do love it here is another really cool piece. You guys uh, know I really love the Crystal Palace at Magic Kingdom. And here is a Crystal Palace food tray. And it's hosted by Colombian coffee growers. 100% Colombian coffee. That is really awesome. Oh, and this table right here, I think this is from the Emporium. Well, or it's from the confectionery. Yeah, the Main Street Confectionery Marble Table. So this was at uh, the confectionery before they redid it. So that's $1,400 for that. And I don't know about the Crystal Palace food tray. $225, but that is really awesome and super old too. One of my favorite Disney resorts is the Contemporary Resort. And I wish I could have stayed there back in the 1970s because it was like the ideal resort for me. Like how I picture going to Disney World when I was younger because I wasn't allowed, like I wasn't able to go to Disney until I was in my 20s. So I didn't have that childhood memory, but I always wanted to stay at the Contemporary, but they do have something kind of interesting from the 1970s Disney Contemporary Resort. Right here is a replica of a map of what Walt Disney World was supposed to be. This is all concept art of Walt Disney World, and they actually had these hanging above the beds at the Contemporary Resort in the 1970s, and it's so funny seeing it because this was like the idea image of what Walt Disney World was going to be about and you can see some of the things that never happened like the different islands I know this was supposed to be like a uh, New Orleans island right here but this is so big and it's so massive I really really do love it so many amazing things that was going to be coming to the Walt Disney World that never happened though oh look you can see a Nautilus over here that's so cool <laughs> and then right over here I don't know what this one was this is like Morocco almost I feel like and this would have been to the right of Bay Lake or to the Contemporary? I don't know. 
And this was supposed to be, uh, at that time, Discovery Island. But I don't know what this concept art is supposed to be with the giant pirate ship. Still a very interesting piece. I don't see a price on here for it, though. But it is really, really cool. I just see the card here for recycling the magic, which they actually do all this. Becky and Pat, they have a lot of different boots down here. Right here is another really awesome piece. This is a whole bunch of unused fabric from Casey's Corner at the Magic Kingdom. Look at this. So they actually use this for the umbrellas and the tables. That is such a cool thing. And this is there's a lot of it here. So if you wanted to replicate Casey's, this is the way. $175 for this. But I'm kind of like mind blown by it because it's so cool. And then up here, they have some of the more larger pieces of the contemporary uh, resort artwork. So, you know, they recently did a big renovation at the contemporary. This is $225. And it's so funny because it's contemporary art from the contemporary. Here's a picture. It looks like uh, this was from the wave. Yeah, this was from the wave right there. And a couple of contemporary resort lamps. Not only are there a lot of Disney props here, but there are some Universal Studios props too. And I plan on coming back down and doing actually a whole video on a lot of other Universal props soon, maybe in the next couple weeks. But I do want to show you one amazing piece that I think is so cool, especially for the diehard Universal Studios fans. One of my all-time favorite bars at Universal Studios, Shea Alcatraz right here. Here's one of the signs from out front. This is $1,200. And look at Jaws right there. This is so cool. Like that is such an amazing piece right there. And they also have some shutters as well. These are $95. Tons of signs from Universal Studios. And then also uh, non-operating signs for all of the attractions. So Transformers, Fear Factor, uh, Revenge of the Mummy, the ride, which is closed right now, Despicable Me rip ride rocket right there and these signs are 150 dollars but they're so cool aren't they i really really do love it and like i said i'm going to come back and make a whole video a lot of universal studio stuff because they have so much even uh the secret life of pets and a lot of halloween horror and us uh, horror night stuff so we'll make a separate video because this one's going to be a little bit long already here is another really cool piece from Splash Mountain. You guys know I love the Disney dollars. And they actually have Splash Mountain Disney dollars. I've never seen those before. They also have Big Thunder Mountain and Space Mountain. I have never seen these. But it's funny that Splash Mountain is a dollar. Big Thunder Mountain's five dollars and Space Mountain is ten dollars. That is so cool. Like I, like I said, I've never seen those before though. But I would love to add those to my collection. And they also have some really cool costuming over here. A nice Tomorrowland outfit right there. And I think these are $295 for that. That is crazy, but it's so awesome. They also have, oh, Universal Studios ones too. A lot of really cool costuming and some other nifty things. All the boots here are really fun. There's so many of them. I like to like just go around and peek, see, and see what I can find. Because you never know what you're actually going to find. There's also a couple of like small businesses here that actually make their own Disney merchandise or Disney art. And one of them is Melly's Remarket. And I have to say, I love her stuff here. I show it every time to see if they have any new items and it's always amazing. She actually takes old things and turns them into some amazing artwork from Star Wars to the Disney parks to uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And like, look at this window over here with all four parks in it. That is so awesome, isn't it? I love this so much. And I don't think she has a price of $195 for this. And also look at the little handle here. Like she makes this stuff, this is custom. And it's so amazing. Over here you have the villains and wow. That is truly amazing. $160 for that right there. But I love it. Like, this is really high class stuff. Ooh, Harry Potter, too. High class stuff here, folks. <laughs> oh, and then this is a, a Walt Disney World map. Sorry, I geek out. <laughs> but this is really, really awesome. I had to try on the Pooh for President hat, and I am officially uh, voting now. Pooh for President. <laughs> I feel like that's the way, but look at this. It's, it's actually styrofoam. You take it off and it's, I'm bald. <laughs>
Now it's time we actually start heading out and it looks like I'm gonna be taking home the Winnie the Pooh for President Badge. I love this and I think it's just a cool little collectible to have and it's a kind of a learning experience for me because like I said I had no idea he was actually a presidential candidate or a write-in and uh, yeah it was really fun and uh, I like to show you guys whenever I do end up buying something and this is it for today. And with that, I think we are done here for today. So much fun going around shopping, finding some amazing treasures. I really do love everything. Like, I get so excited about the littlest things. Let me know in the comments what something you would actually want to buy from there. Because like I said, they have some amazing things. I think I would want to get some of the Mary Blair Winnie the Pooh pictures. I think that's such a cool thing. Because Mary Blair is such an iconic Disney artist. Like, to have her be able to sketch out like Eeyore and stuff. And did you notice like Eeyore looked a little bit different because like I said it was a concept so they weren't really going for the Winnie the Pooh route they were trying to look for something maybe different but similar to Winnie the Pooh and uh, yeah so amazing I'll put all the information below if you guys do actually want to buy anything like I said you can reach out to the Lakeland Antique Mall call them or recycling the magic too and uh, they'll uh, be able to help you out so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye